Hi Nathan, so tell me a little bit about your organisation and what you do. I'm from University College Falmouth, uh, which is a small, small specialist art design media and performance college down in the West Country, uh, where we have courses ranging from traditional fine art through to journalism and you know, media studies. Uh, we, we tend to have to store a, a wide ranging amount of content from students' films that they make through to st students' photography images along with a more traditional student database, the Oracle type of data that we store as well. So we kind of cover a, a lot of uh, different avenues when we're storing our, our, our database. What is the role of IT in supporting your organisation? IT Services has quite a large remit within the university. Um, we have to obviously look after the infrastructure and we take that as our kind of our, our raison d'etre really is to make sure that the information technology that we put in is always at that level that we can take it further as the university grows. So we look after the infrastructure, we look at the network, and the same with the data. We decided that when we put a new system in, that it had to be able to grow with the university's aspirations to grow its student numbers. What were the business and technology challenges that you were trying to solve with this storage project? One of the main problems we had with all of our existing storage was that it was spread all over the institution. Different departments had different servers. Each server would have a different storage mechanism, different backup regime. We decided quite early on that we needed to take that uh, data, manage it more centrally within the institution, thus allowing us to forecast our data growth over the, the coming years to kind of mimic our aspirations to grow the student numbers. What was the solution that you deployed and what benefits did it deliver to your organisation? When we were looking for our new solution, our new storage solution that is, we were looking for a, a product that A would grow with us, A was an easy to manage solution and um, one that wasn't driven too heavily by a licensed kind of environment. We went out to tender um, and a lot of them obviously came back with very kind of strong license requirements or were too complex for us to, to understand. The, the solution we chose in the end was the Pillar Axiom solution because it met our um, demands and requirements kind of on the nail. It was easy to manage. Uh, it was very easy to understand the licensing requirements and very easy to grow with the inspirations of the college. You mentioned that scalability was an important part of the solution. Why exactly was that important? Data growth was one of our biggest challenges. We, we didn't understand where our data was, how our data was growing, and we needed to take that and put it into a single kind of silo of, of data where we could actually understand that. Using the Pillar Axiom solution, we've, we've been able to deliver an understanding of where we currently are with our data um, and then obviously taking that further we can forecast our growth easier. we can then understand our uh, financial commitment to to our storage data okay. requirements. So what financial benefits have you realized since completing the project deployment? One of the benefits that kind of came after the initial deployment was the ability to then look at amalgamating a lot of our uh, other facilities onto the, s the storage platform as well. So working with, with Pillar, we were able to look at using solutions to virtualize all of our server uh, facilities. We looked at uh, centralizing our CCTV storage on the, on the facility, thus allowing us you know, a, a one port management aspect towards our data. Instead of having many people managing smaller parts of data, we had one person or one team that was responsible for all our data, no matter where it sat within the institution, thus allowing us to reduce costs or grow easier with con contained costs. Did you have any concerns around running multiple applications on a single storage device and how were those concerns addressed throughout the project? When, when we looked at uh, the storage solution at the beginning, we had no idea um, where it was going to, to, to take us. Obviously we were concerned 
that we had this, these different tiers of storage that were existing within the institution. We had our kind of Oracle level data. We had our students' personal documents. We had our email and uh, various other elements. And we were looking for a solution that allowed us to be flexible enough to deliver that range of storage on a single platform. So if we wanted archive storage, we didn't have to buy separate archive storage. We could continue with our, you know, our single plan. We would just mark some of that data as archive data, and it would then react accordingly. So that was one of the key drivers towards our, our you know, solution that we chose. Having completed the project rollout, what benefits around utilization and efficiency have you seen since the deployment? Being quite a small university, space was one of our key uh, concerns. Being an art and design and media college, we're also driven by a very kind of green ethos. We, we want to look at space saving, energy saving. The, the pillar axiom that we put in allowed us to achieve a virtualization project that saved us a huge amount of energy. The, the, the draw the power consumption within the Axiom is a lot less than a lot of the, the competitors are anyway. So overall, we were able to meet, our, some, of our, meet some of our targets um, within the energy saving of the institution through deploying our pillar, pillar system. Thank you very much, Nathan. Thank you very much for inviting me to talk here.